Hi everyone, my name is Meredith, and my Chinese name is Wang Qian. This is my third year studying at UVic, and my major is economics. As an economics student, I know more about economic concept, knowledge, and strategies. Therefore, I'm qualified to share my knowledge about economics with you. The topic of my mini course is the difference between economics of scale and economics of scope. As people know that there are two important economic strategies used by many organizations or companies to gain cost effectiveness. Therefore, I think it is crucial and meaningful for people to distinguish them effectively and clearly. For this mini course, it will include several parts, such as outline, e-lecture video, lesson plan, or activities, and self-reflection. My audience for this mini course can be anyone who's interested in economics, especially for students. It is better for people who join this course to have academic English learning and basic economic knowledge because it is easier for them to learn the course materials. However, do not feel nervous if you do not have any previous knowledge, because I will explain all the economic concept as simple as I can. This video is mainly about the mini course outline. In this mini course, it focuses on three major aspects. First, it's about the basic informations about economics of scale and economics of scope, such as definitions and examples. Second, I will compare and contrast the two strategies. Third, I will analyze both the advantages and disadvantages of each of them directly and clearly. The learning purpose of this mini course is to make students improve expertise of economics of skill and scope specifically. After learning the mini course, students can expect to define the meaning of economics of skill and scope respectively, understand both the similarities and differences, list their advantages and disadvantages, estimate the importance and influence of them and use them effectively in their daily lives. If you have any questions about the mini course, please let me know.